Hi, I'm Sonia and I help people take their power back. If you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me and want me to call you on your BS, all my coaching information is in the description below. I also go live here on YouTube. If you want to come ask me your manifestation questions, check out when those are scheduled for and be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Today, I want to talk about forming affirmations. People keep coming to me with this. So I thought I'd make a video about it because I am not going to tell you how to word your fucking thoughts. Your experience is what you tell yourself that it is. The specific uh, comment that sparked the idea for this video was in regards to being ghosted. What are some affirmations? I'm being ghosted. You need to take a step back. Look at your situation. Look at what's actually happening. And tell yourself that things are the way you want them to be. So you're telling yourself that you're being ghosted. Okay, what do you want to be true instead? You're talking all the time? Well, there's your fucking affirmation. That's it. What do you want to be true? Okay. How would you tell somebody that that is what is true? The way that you're bitching, whining, moaning, and complaining about how you are not getting what you want and how everything's against you. If you actually got what you wanted, what would you tell people? How would you talk? What would you say? Because that's what you need to focus on is thinking that way. Thinking from the state of the wish fulfilled. So instead of, I'm ghosted, they don't like me, they're such an asshole, I'm such a victim. No, I always get what I want. They talk to me, we're talking constantly, we have the best relationship. Those are both from states. The state of, I, I'm being ghosted, the state of, we're in a happy relationship. How do you word the thoughts if you have a happy relationship? All of the shit keeping you from any manifestation. I'm just going with ghosted because that's the example I had. But anything. Money. What are you constantly telling yourself about money? Because that is your state and that is your experience. And that's what you're going to get more of if you keep telling yourself that that's what you're experiencing. And how money works and all that shit. So if you had the money that you would that you want... What would you tell yourself? If that bill was going to be paid, what would you fucking tell yourself? It's not complicated. Stop making this complicated. Your affirmations, the wording of your affirmations doesn't fucking matter. As long as you understand what you mean, it's perfect. Make it natural to you. Make it feel good to you. I am not going to give you exact wording of affirmations. I can give you an idea of what you could tell yourself instead. You know, if you're being ghosted, you want a happy relationship. Is that what you want? Okay, well, what would you tell yourself if you had it? Ask yourself that question. If this thing that I want is true, let's take one. Uh, I'm getting, someone asked me about um, being taken for granted. I, I, I feel like everyone takes me for granted. What, what, how, what, can, what can I affirm? Okay, no one takes you for granted. What would you tell yourself? That's how you form an affirmation. That's it. There are no rules. There are no, it has to have these kind of words or those kind of words. It'll fucking manifest perfectly. If you say, this always happens. I always get ghosted. My relationships never work out. That word never is working fucking perfectly. Always. The law is very literal. Your subconscious takes you at your word. As Bob Proctor said, I used that in, a, I think, the last video. You know what you mean. Oh, there's always another thing that happens. Things just get worse and worse and worse. I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah, you're fucking right. Those affirmations work perfectly. The thoughts you have right now are creating your life perfectly, are your experience perfectly. So when you catch yourself thinking shit like, oh, I'm being ghosted or, oh, I'm nobody take, you know, everyone takes me for granted. Okay. You no longer want that experience. So what's now happening? Think about that. And those are your affirmations. The thoughts you would have if what you wanted was true.
the wording doesn't matter. Saying it the same exact affirmation over and over doesn't fucking matter. You're coming from that state of no, I am getting this or it's already done. However, works better for you. Again, there are no fucking rules. Stop making this so complicated. Use an umbrella affirmation. Make a, like, this is what is now true in my life. And put, I don't know, the statement, I I use this on TikTok. I love pointy, uh, pokey dog toes. If you know what I love pokey dog toes means to you, guess what? It'll manifest perfectly. If that means I'm living my dream life, then that's what will manifest. If when you want to be bitching, whining, moaning, and complaining about how things never go your way, you focus on pointy dog nails or toes or whatever, things will fucking change because you're changing. You know what you mean with your words. All you have to do is shift the perspective instead of, I don't have what I want. This is what's happening. I'm such a victim. Nope. I have what I want and I'm so fucking happy. Stop making this complicated. Stop worrying about if it's the right affirmation. Drop all that shit. Focus on what would be true if you had what you want and let the rest go. And start trusting that it's going to work. This is where I highly recommend doing it with shit that you are not so attached to. Something like seeing a blue ant or a specific animal of any kind or a specific make model color of car or finding five bucks on the ground. What like fucking whatever. Until you truly start applying this stuff and start seeing that you do have control of your thoughts and that you are thinking this shit and that this shit that I'm thinking right now is being reflected back to me. It is my experience. Until you start doing it and you stop worrying about if you're doing it right, nothing's going to change because you're so focused on it not working and trying to find like the perfect solution that you're refusing to change you. And until you're ready to change you, nothing else is going to change. Thank you so much for watching. Love and light.